We are pulled in all directions at once by kids, work, and aging parents. We're part of the sandwich generation, caught up in the swirl of the family dance. On this family dance, Itya Golan takes her mother, a Holocaust survivor, back to her home village in the Czech Republic. My name is Itya Golan. I'm a daughter of Holocaust survivors. And I'm in the middle of planning to take my mother after 65 years uh, back to the Czech Republic. The moment my father passed away, a week later she started falling and they diagnosed Parkinson. So they started giving her a Parkinson medication. The more Parkinson medication she got, the sicker she got. She was lethargic, she, her loss of total loss of memory, like total. Finally got in touch with a Parkinson doctor and he said, oh my God, he said, apparently they gave her antidepressant after my father passed away and the antidepressant and the Parkinson was really fatal. The moment we took off the medication, brand new person. That's why the whole idea of the trip was not even relevant. And this is something that she always wanted to do. As long as I'm very careful, I'll take a wheelchair, I'll take the antibiotic for bladder infections, all the things that need to be, you know, taken care of, and we'll do it very slowly, um, we'll, we'll, we'll realize a dream. She left when she was 15. Her village, Uherski brought. she fled from the Holocaust. So this Already. is, is Golan, right? and I'm sorry again, Viola. Viola, Viola, Viola Landman. My name is Miriana, Miriana Seebeck, okay? And I'm the Czech Tourist Authority, and I hope yeah, I can help you with your trip. Yeah. <laughs> After 60 years, isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. Isn't, yeah. And yeah. your daughter is doing this all for you? <laughs> well, I always want to go back. I need to know. To know. <laughs> I always want to go back. It was my dream, but mm -hmm. my husband didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. Because all the circumstances. Oh, same, what, what was, was happening and yeah. what happened, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't Nobody beautiful. wanted to go back. But Isn't I, thought that, I understand. Wanted. I understand, but past is past, it's right? Absolutely. We have to look into the future. Well, I think the past is a past, but still, I don't think we can move forward mm -hmm. without really understanding. For me, it was really when they always said, the father didn't want to go, mm -hmm. I kind of, I wanted to know because it's very important for me, mm -hmm. for my kids, to know where we're from. And you have never been? No, never. no, because that it's will be your first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the yeah. second most visited place uh -huh, in the uh -huh. Czech Republic. And if I may, just to get you started, uh, I did prepare just to, for you something to oh. get you going. Oh, yeah. Look okay. at the beautiful, okay. if you might be probably, you know, you know what it is? No. This is a little house, it's alchemy, alchemist, right? In Prague, yeah. they made, Prague, Prague. Oh, they wanted you. to make gold. That's right. Yes. yes. So you house, remember? You know? <laughs> yeah. That's a way of linkage. You know, and, and for me, it's, it's my kids. It's very important for me. Uh, it will be a documentary. I'm going to make my video and take every video so I can show my kids. And, um, they're basically that. I'm very excited. No, I, I can't imagine. Above and beyond the fact that we're here, it's, it's a bit of soul searching. Time is running for me too. <laughs> I myself look in the mirror, I don't uh, believe it's me, such an old lady. <laughs> but it is a fact. Okay.
I have to go to school too. I'll have to go. Okay. Imale, I'm here in the evening. I live with my husband, together with my mom and my two youngest daughters. My oldest daughters uh, are married, uh, they live nearby, and uh, I have two grandchildren. Although we're in the midst of preparing for the trip, I haven't given up my regular routine of taking my grandson Idan to nursery school. Bye, Sally. 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 Bye, Bye, Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye, it is truly a Canadian dream come true. Here is a school where you have so many kids from so many countries, and it's wonderful. Now we're going with my mother to the doctor just before the trip. I want to make sure that she's okay, to get her a few pills on the way just in case she has a problem there. Because people with Parkinson tend to have certain infections, urine infection, this infection, this. So just in case, I need to have all the medication with me. I already arranged with a company in Prague to get us a wheelchair so we can make it comfortable. No, if I need a wheelchair, I take my little cane. Okay. It's nice to see you. How are you? Thank you. Fine. I feel fine. I'm going to to go. It's a shame at the end of the week to uh, to Czechoslovakia. Well, how long are you going to be? Two weeks. Very nice with you. No? Yeah. Yeah. Of sure. course. Oh, There's going to be some important. very yes. powerful emotions yeah. re oh, absolutely. Re absolutely. Yeah. But how do you feel about the fact if she can go and? Uh... Okay, I'm going to examine you in just a minute. I'm going to answer after I examine. Yeah, yeah. The, the one thing I have concerns about, okay, which is, has nothing to do with medicine, is that you actually may be very anxious or depressed there. Some, sometimes people go back to their hometowns, they see things have changed, they see anti-Semitism, they see things that are not nice. Not there, not anti-Semitism. I'm just letting you know from my experience of other older people that go, they yeah. tell me this, okay? So that's the only issue I would have. Yeah. I think it's fantastic that you're doing it. I think it's very important, actually. It's not a subtle thing. I think she has to go back. Yeah, I see yeah, people yeah. benefit by going back. Yeah, once. Yeah, once. To, once. Kind of to close the circle. Yes. Uh, and I think uh, the memories. But I mean, we talk about it, and and I think she knows very well. She helps me with the trip. She helps me with the planning. So we go over again memories. So it's not going to be a shocker. So we'll be right, right beside her. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Secondly, what I'm concerned is a jet lag. Is there something that I should know when I get when after nine? It's it's eight hour fl eight hours flight. Uh, is I am going to a city. But I left before 62 years exactly. I've been in Prague, and we just, the German occupied already Prague, so we couldn't stay there. And I want to go back always, but my late husband, he has a different opinion and he was very afraid to go back. He doesn't want to go back. Zosa's my father, his sister, the three, the three siblings who fled the Holocaust. And all the three were very, very close, and all the three were sent to Palestine uh, until things were supposedly to be better. Um, this is a transport shows when, about the grandfather, my grandfather, they were killed, they were gassed in Auschwitz. My grandmother in Birkenau, my grandfather in Auschwitz, in 16 to the 10th, 1944. This letter was sent to minister of... Uh, my father never said goodbye to his parents. So um, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going, going to, uh, to uh, close up, the, I think, the circle.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My kids are my grandchildren. They don't have a clue. They know that we come from Holocaust survivors, but they don't have a clue of what the family has gone, what kind of wonderful family we had. And for me, it's very important for them to know, for, literally for posterity, for my grandchildren. Every day, why did they wake up? Close it. Yeah, I hope you can. Michali, does it want to look? And the video, Yuda. Today is a day, dream of a lifetime, is about to be fulfilled. And I don't believe it. I'm doing it, I'm going through the motions, and uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm going in a time, like time tunneling. You know, one of those things that you see time tunneling, you go back, 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 back in time, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine when the plane will be yeah, landing in Prague. Prague and you see Praha? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, between my mother and my kids, and my grandchildren, and my husband, and my trip, and little me, I think we'll manage. <laughs> we have to. the main street in Prague and we arrived this morning that is a theater the state theater where we're going to watch Don Giovanni and we are in the most wonderful spot in a box mom how do you feel about being here very excited really excited I feel like like I would be at home maybe because of language I know. It is, it's actually the only language that I speak very well and nice. I get a lot of compliments because not English and not Hebrew and not German I know so well like Czech. And you can feel the language makes you close up to some. We are on our way to Hodonin. We're having breakfast. That's about the train station that my father sent to buy to his parents. My father always told me, don't go. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. And when we went to Hodonin, here this train station, extremely dilapidated. Eerie, strange. Hodonin. This is the main street of Hodonin. Uh, probably my father, my family stood there at one point. Very strange, I need to breathe deep to really understand. To really understand what's going on here. We are going with Pane Hinek, Mr. Hinek, who is a specialist in history. And he's going to take us around to see the, what used to be the Jewish quarter. Uh, today it's a regular apartment yeah. building. Yeah. And here, somewhere here, many, many moons back, uh, my grandfather, what was my grandmother, my father, with his brother and sister, used to be around here. My father was probably laughing up there in the sky, saying, I told you not to go there, there is nothing there. I heard him laughing. They destroyed everything, which is, was horrible. But one thing we know, we cannot, we cannot destroy memory, we cannot destroy heritage. Those things that if we don't let it happen, it doesn't, it, it doesn't happen. Okay, this is Oheski brought. How do you feel, Ima, when you see your high school? I feel Matsrika. Yes, it's uh, funny. You know, it used to be, I be as a child, as such a beautiful street. It's such a wide, 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 wide and big. And no, it's nothing, it's just a... The Jewish quarter isn't, doesn't exist anymore. And this was very sad for me. 
because the big uh, temper is gone absolutely. And this whole quarter doesn't exist. Even people doesn't know where it was. And it was by 1,800 Jewish families there. So it was a really big Jewish uh, uh, center there. So this is all gone. But I think the moment of truth was when we went to the cemetery and you saw all your friends, the names of all your friends. It was a big uh, marble wall and written all the names from those people would been sent to Terezin first. So I have seen all those names. I just, this makes me very, very sad. <laughs> My mother find her friend. Are there are there many many people that live still live here from your time? I am very very sorry, but we living here. Uh, Rosenfeld, Ada. Okay. This is his wife, but she's not from Brod, she's from Strażnice Lidzka. Uh, Elina Rajzova. No. I had a friend, she's still there, and uh, they pick up us so nicely, just like I would left yesterday. It was really emotional. I mean, the left, she was 15 or 16, the, this lady was 10. And thank Sweet. you so much. For her. <laughs> for the what stories, a, for the hospitality, for a lovely afternoon. afternoon. The Jewish cemetery. We've just discovered that my grandparents came in January 1943 to Theresienstadt. That's yeah, where they first the, arrived. That's yeah, the main. The first. That's where the first arrived. Uh, the bakery and the central food shop, that's probably where my grandmother worked. Here are the windows. She probably looked through that window, looking perhaps to look for her husband or the Red Cross to bring letters. My grandmother sent kids to Israel. I have kids. Sent kids to Israel, walking every day probably to the baking, thinking what happened to those kids of hers, not knowing that probably in a year and a half she's going to die. That is a crematorium. I was very emotional during this trip. I was tired and emotional. Every stone, every place, every train station um, was extremely emotional for me. Very, very. I was, uh, the whole trip was heavy. Do you feel different after this? Yes, I feel different. I feel relaxed. I was always thinking to go there back. And no, I've been there. It's OK for me. I am in Theresienstadt, and I find in this book, in this list of all the people that were there, I look for it, and suddenly I see it. Here, Landman Etel, I'm named Itya. Landman Hermann, they went together to the, on Auschwitz scene. And on that day, October 16th, uh, they both went on a train to Auschwitz scene, went to the shower, and never came out of the shower. 
sold by the snipers in the end of the war in 1948. 60 of them they died. I also found in Prague my grandparents' name on a wall in the synagogue. Here, here it is. It's a huge wall, huge with all the name of the Jews that perished. Here, I'm looking, I'm looking. You're not supposed to take a video, and I sneak the video. And in a minute, you'll see it, because all the names, I'm looking. Here, Landman, you see? Landman, the camera just, I miss it. And I go back, Landman, that's Herman. Etel. It's a huge wall and millions of names. And I'm trying to look, where is it? Here, look, look how the wall looks. You see? When I went, I didn't expect this feeling what I get during the day. If I'd been there, I was heartbroken. And before I went, I knew everybody was happening. I knew the stories and all. But I didn't know that I was going to have such feelings. It's hard to believe me, but I feel like Czech, Re Czech Republic was my home. And I can never forget because it was my, the nicest time in my life. I've been till 17 or 18 years, I've been in Uherski Brod, and it was my happiest time in life. <laughs> so this you cannot, never forget. Yeah. It was important for me as um, second generation survivors because my whole, practically my whole family vanished. And it was important for me to see where it almost ended. It's like a, a dinosaur when you see an egg, when you find an egg of a dinosaur and to think it's a world that almost was vanished. And here I am coming out of this egg and building my own family. I'm blessed, I survived. One looks in everyday life at the difficulties that one has with this and with that. And when you look at the larger picture, it's larger than life. Actually, we survived and, and we're okay, we survived, we're strong. And thank God.